first search for the near-threatened blind cave fish begins in central Missouri with a rappel into the shaft of Carroll Cave, created and maintained by the Carroll Cave Conservancy. The 120-foot drop into the main passage of Carroll Cave is typically accomplished with a static rope, harness, and a sender. Before our search, we spent a bit of time marveling at the wonders of the Angel Pool Passage. Walking slowly upstream in Thunder River, one of three rivers found in Carroll Cave, we kept a careful eye on the water as blind cavefish, because of their small size, are very difficult to spot. And here we have found our first specimen. The Eigelman's cavefish is one of three species of blind cavefish found in the southern Midwest of the United States. Blind cavefish are found in the subterranean waters of two major non-overlapping ranges separated by the Mississippi River. They are usually found at considerable depths below the surface. There is a substantial vertical and lateral extent of dolomite occupied by the blind cavefish in the Salem Plateau. This suggests these fish have a relatively large and comparatively continuous volume of habitat in which to dwell and disperse. Blind cavefish are found mostly in flowing waters and seem to be attracted to point sources of water resurgence. They use the gaps in rocks and layers to protect themselves from predators such as cave crayfish as well as from strong currents. These species, which can grow as long as 90 millimeters, have a large broad head. The caudal fin has two rows of sensory papilla and simple eyes can be found hidden under the skin. The blind cavefish have a swim bladder and numerous sensory cells called neuromass. Members of these species live for a long time, possibly even for decades, and grow slowly. Blind cavefish tend to rest motionless on the bottom for long periods of time, feeding mostly on small crustaceans. The blind cavefish are mostly found in fresh water. They have many small and unicuspid teeth which are used to feed on aquatic arthropods such as amphipods and isopods. We found them quite solitary in their existence in the deep, dark depths of these underground rivers. 